Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about celebrating the small wins on the way to your long-term goals. Let's dive in. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Glad you are here. Today's video, of course, is mentioned in the introduction. It's just about celebrating the small wins on the way to achieving your long-term goals. And this video comes because today is just one of those days for me where I woke up feeling so grateful for everything in my life. I was sitting there just hanging out and just the simple things, hanging out in my nice warm bed. It's a little bit cooler out here in California during the winter. I know you guys from <laughs> all over the uh, you know world in the United States that are in much much colder places are sitting there like dude you don't know what cold is and you're right I don't um, I do live, I live here for a reason by choice <laughs> so but I, nonetheless I was just sitting there I'm comfortable in my bed uh, I got my little dog Manny next to me we're just hanging out and I'm just sitting there and I'm like dude my life is so good and what I want to talk about today is how we lose sight of the simple things that we need to be thankful for when we kind of lose sight of the big picture, we get lost in the sauce, so to speak. And what I mean by that is when you have something big you're trying to achieve and you've been working hard. So, you know, of course, I always like to start with fitness. If you've been putting in time in the gym day by day, week by week, month by month, and maybe you're not quite to where you want to be, it's important to pause and look how far you've come and how much has changed even over the course of a few weeks or a month or a few months, because chances are if you've been consistent in your action and the work you're putting in, that you actually have made a lot of progress and you may not realize it because you're fixated on the bigger picture and you're just focusing on, man, I'm not there yet, man, I'm not there yet, man, I'm not there yet. But this comes back to the old saying that the journey is the destination. And although it's cliche, it is true is that the journey really is the destination. And unless you can learn to enjoy where you're currently at and the little successes you've had, you're gonna lose sight and lose some energy and momentum and joy in what you're actually doing. And the whole reason behind whatever you're pursuing, the reason you're pursuing it for, if that makes sense. So take some time and look how far you've come, whether it's on your fitness journey or your business endeavors, how much you've grown, how much you've done. And I'll use some personal examples for me. Uh, this month, I'm grateful, this is the biggest month of my business so far. Got back in, you know, we're at the end of December here, literally a week away from uh, New Year's, flipping over to 2023. And as I look back on the year, start to reflect, I've already kind of planned and set my sights for what I want to, what I want to achieve in 2023, starting, my fitness journey again getting back into training in the beginning of april i originally thought i was going to train in person i met a business mentor who actually specializes in online teaching people to be online fitness coaches and i know that industry has been taken off for a while so i jumped in and it was something that was familiar as far as training writing exercise programs um you know nutrition coaching things like that but it was in a different capacity and it was also more about business skills about marketing and branding so i look at where i started and what my original intention was just to pursue what i love which is helping people and empowering them with their health and their fitness and how much i've grown and changed throughout the year and although of course my company isn't where i want it to be i'm so grateful this month was kind of a nod from the universe that you're on the right track everything's coming you know it's growing, it's, it's heading in the right direction, it's coming to fruition, your goals are, are manifesting little by little. And that, of course, is uh, evidenced by this being the biggest month in my business so far financially. So I look back and as I look forward to 2023 and say, okay, great, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I wanna hit some big numbers, I really wanna help a lot of people who are really gonna grow and expand. I wanna solidify systems and you know, I really wanna tighten this down and get good at the business aspect and also improve as a trainer and a coach always evolving in that aspect. But what I've realized is that, man, I've come such a long way and that although, of course, I'm not consistently hitting this financial goal yet, this is a marker, this is a milestone this month of what's possible and what's to come for 2023. And in the past during this year, God, I wanted to quit so many times, but even then I recognized that how much I had changed and grown. 
So as this relates to you and the value of you watching this video is a reminder again, just to look back at how far you've come, how much you've changed, how much the effort and hard work that you've put in has produced so far and use that as kind of another level of motivation to continue to help you to move forward in the direction that you want. And again, this happens often in fitness where people will, you know, they'll sit there and they'll work really hard in the gym and maybe they've lost, you know, a good six pounds over the course of two months. Their clothes are fitting different. They're putting on muscle, but all they see when they look in the mirror is just this really fat out of shape dude or someone who's not where they want to be. And again, it's all about perspective, right? We can either view, take a picture and focus on what we haven't achieved yet, or we can be grateful and ground into what we've already done and acknowledge the efforts and the fruits of our labor so far. And I think it's incredibly important to do that. What happens when you don't do this, you lose motivation. And this is when we can tend to lose hope or faith, especially if you're in a, one of those ruts or challenge periods, I like to call it, in which, you know, things aren't working out and um, it seems like everything's falling apart, but really what's happening is just an opportunity for you to spread your wings and grow into a new area, taking new actions, become a new person uh, in order to achieve what you want to achieve. So if you're one of those tough periods, it's hard, you know, you're sitting there and going, God, is this even possible? Can I even do this? And the answer to that question is, of course you can. And something that'll help Again, what this video is about is to look back and say, damn, I've come a long way though. Because here's the other reality and truth of the matter is that you're never gonna get to where you want to be. There's a book out there that I recommend everyone read, uh, but especially men, I recommend you read this. It's called The Way of the Superior Man by David Data. Uh, changed my life, amazing book. And the very first excerpt or chapter in the book is that you have to come to the eternal truth that there is no end, especially as a man, there is no end goal. Because here's what I'll ask you. Say that, you know, let's take a hypothetical that you've manifested, you know, the money and you've retired at age 30 or 40 or whatever, 50, like super early, right? Wherever you're at in your life, or if you're in your 60s, right? You've got all this money and all this company and you don't have to work anymore. Okay, great, you'll go and travel and do all these things that you want to do, whatever, but you'll get bored of that because you'll want to have another goal. No one ever gets to where they want to be and just stops. Some people do, and that's great, there's, there's no problem, but we're not really wired like that. And this is what I've learned is that there's always gonna be another level, and that's the point I wanna make, is that there's always gonna be another level. So your business, great, it's a, you know, whatever, multi-million dollar, Fortune 500 company, all this stuff, you know, you've expanded all these stores, you make all this money now, great. That can only last so long, especially if you've had that level of drive, ambition to achieve that level of success. Once you hit a certain level, you're not just gonna stop. It's not who you are. You've developed yourself into someone who strives for something greater, who is more interested in creating something for the greater good and having an impact on you know, your family's lives, other people's lives, um, society to hold, the world to hold. There's always gonna be another level. And unless we, again, as a reminder in this video, the point is take time to relax and enjoy how far we've come, then you're not gonna enjoy it when you do reach that benchmark because you're always, always, always gonna be reaching for another benchmark. I always hear, you know, and I know, like, I'm sure I'll experience this at some point, but I've heard many very successful people say this from a lot of the content I've consumed about these entrepreneurs that have made it in their lives and they say, you know, oh man, you know, the best days of my life are the days where I look back when I was, you know, I was broke and I was eating top ramen and I was struggling. I was grinding to get this whole company off the ground and then look at where I am now and sure, my life is fabulous. But that's the whole thing is that, again, the journey is the destination. If you look back, there's a picture, it's a, you know, it's on the internet, it's not hard to find. And um, it's a picture of Jeff Bezos, right, when he was starting Amazon. And uh, it's, he's in this like, looks like a room in his house or something. And it says Amazon on like a cardboard box and he's on this like old ass computer. And um, you know, he's wearing this like frumpy, you know, sweater vest or whatever. He looks older than he is now, which is the wild thing. Um, it's crazy, but I'm sure you've seen it. And it says Amazon is just like, it's literally this cardboard sign that's hanging on his wall in his office. 
And um, obviously, you know, the rest is history, right? We, we know how that goes and how he's doing now. And you'll hear a lot of these people say that, is that those were the times that they look back on and they go, wow, man, like, look how far I've come. So I want to make this shorter today and just remind you that you've come a long way. And although there are many more steps ahead that you will take to get to where you want to be, it's important that you enjoy how far you've come and where you're currently at because it won't always be like this. Whether you are in a great situation or a bad situation, as the saying goes, this too shall pass. So enjoy where you're at right now, especially if you're in a good place. And if you're in a, a bad place or a challenge period right now, embrace that shit, learn the lessons. This is what's gonna help you evolve and grow into the next level. And remember that there's always gonna be a next step, so be present in where you're currently at and enjoy this for now. So that's it for today. So please like and subscribe. If you did like the video, feel free to leave any comments or reach out to me. I'd love to connect and chat with you. Other than that, you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.